Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala nabiya na Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'da habita fillah question was asked assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh in which way should we give dawah to disbelievers better said how the salaf how did the salaf give dawah to the non-muslims did they begin first with the Muslims who were fujjar or by preaching against the bid'ah of the mutadiyah. Please explain the Salafi method on giving da'wah. So first and foremost, everything has its proper place and application. And in fact, according to the methodology and the madhab of the Salaf, the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, all of those things are applicable at the same time and it depends on a person's ability for example there are some people who are very knowledgeable about the shubahat the the doubtful things with christians for example or maybe someone who's in a, in a, a hindu uh, place or with sikhs or what have you and they know uh, the shubahat of that deen and they know how to give dawah to those people then and they have knowledge of the book in the sunnah then they perhaps would focus more on giving dawah to mushrikeen to those people who disbelieve in allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or disbelieve in the deen of allah and there are others and what we find from a lot of our students of knowledge in the west and around that more their training and more their focus is on correcting the aqidah and correcting the belief of the Muslims. And so, in essence, get in where you fit in. Meaning that the dawah, uh, all of it is applicable. All of it is applicable. And so we should not ignore our duty to our communities in which we came from and calling them to the book in the sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when he was speaking to Mu'adh uh, Ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala and he said, uh, or this was, I believe it was the hadith of Mu'adh, and he said, in the kata'ti koman min ahli kitab, fa yukun awla ma tad'um ilay shahratan la ilaha illallah. He said, verily you're going to the be uh, you're going to go to the people of the book. So make the first thing that you call them to is the shahadatain, is to worship Allah and Allah alone and ascribing no partners to him. And then he mentioned the other things like the salat and so on and so forth. And so that lets us know the priority uh, in that situation because obviously at that time there was no... Uh, really no Ahla Bid'ah. There was only Muslims and non-Muslims. So the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam gave uh, the command to his companions Radiallahu Ta'ala Anu Majma'een and sent them out to call the people uh, of the book who were most uh, closest to some of their communities. Like in Yemen, it was pr primarily Christians and Jews and and then also uh, mushrikeen, you know, pa uh, pagans. So that lets us know dawah is all encompassing, and it depends on a person's ability. It depends on a person's locality. So it's not a straightforward answer that we should say no. We should be just focusing on ahl bid'ah. No, that doesn't make sense. In fact, we we have many of us are uh, have not been doing our duty and reforming communities that we live in. And I'll give you an example, what we find in the West, and I can definitely speak about at least America, a lot of immigrant communities, which are a lot of times the most, uh, especially where I come from, are the, the largest communities. And they'll come, they'll set up malls and shops and so on and so forth, but they don't, and, and they show an outward appearance. Alhamdulillah, their sisters, they wear hijab, they were in Niqab, especially amongst uh, more Somali communities, and so on and so forth. And you may have uh, our brothers and sisters from Pakistan and India, and they, uh, you know, are in their society, and they may wear hijab. And mashallah, some of the brothers have big beards, and they're, micro they're engineers, and so forth. 
but they have no little to no effect on the local community. The people know they're Muslim, that's it. They don't call the people. They don't, uh, even sometimes the way they deal with people is not uh, necessarily inviting to Islam, is not, uh, not in a good way. So this is a very important that we set those examples. So it depends on your ability, it depends on your, uh, and your focus. Your focus should be to call disbelievers and should be called believers if you have the tools, if you have the knowledge to rectify those communities. So some of us, we feel more comfortable because that's where our background and our training is in uh, dealing with some of the uh, doubts of the uh, disbelievers. So as far as the Salaf, you had all of that. You had both types of Dawah. And that's really what we should be focused on. And that is the Dawah to Ahl Sunnah. The Dawah to Ahl Sunnah is calling everyone, Muslim and non-Muslim, to the worship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and those who are Muslim, helping them to correct and rectify themselves and those who are non-Muslim to invite them to come worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone and follow the example of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil.